Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Jim. I'm a league cycling instructor, or an LCI, which means I've been trained to teach bicycle safety education. Today, we're gonna to talk about the ABC Quick Check, or what you should do before you get on your bike, each time before you ride. If you do this correctly, it could be the difference between walking home or biking home. So pay attention, and let's get this right. ABC stands for air, which is, we're gonna talk about the air in your tires, and we're also gonna look over the tire and the wheel, make sure it's in good shape. E, which stands for brakes, and that means we're gonna look over the cables and the levers and make sure the brakes are in good condition. C stands for chain, which means we're also gonna look over the gear and the cogs and the cranks as well. And then of course we wanna do a quick check. The quick means inspecting the quick releases and then a quick little check to make sure it's all in good working order. So you ready to learn? Let's get this. All right, so A stands for air, which means you're gonna check the air pressure in your tires. You wanna give it a good squeeze to make sure that it's nice and firm. You don't want it too soft, because that'll be, you might get a blowout by doing that, and if it's too hard, it might be uncomfortable to ride. You also wanna check your spokes to make sure they're nice and tight. As long as you're down here checking it out, make sure there's no loose spokes or any broken spokes, which are pretty obvious to see when you do see them. And you might as well check your tire for wear also. Make sure it's not cracked or worn in any weird spots. So I'm gonna check the front tire also, and as you can see, this one needs a lot of air. So we're gonna fill it up with air to make sure it's got the right amount in it. And you can check that because right here on the side wall, it shows what the air pressure is. In this case, it's 45 to 65 degree, uh, pounds per square inch. So I'm gonna take my valve cap off. Set that aside so you don't lose it. Grab my pump. I put the pump onto the valve stem. So as you can see, there's only about 20 pounds per square inch in there now. So we're gonna pump that up to where it's about 45 to 50. Which shouldn't take very many pumps. And it's good to have a nice pump at home. If you don't have a pump at home, take it to your nearest bike shop. They'll happily add some air for you. And once you get it to where you need it, give it a good squeeze, make sure it's nice and hard, and you're all set. Put your valve cap back on. And now your tires are ready to go. So that's A now for talk air. talk about your brakes. There are three things you should check on your brakes before you're ready to go. The first are your brake levers. You wanna give them a good squeeze and make sure there's plenty of space between the, the lever and the hand grip. If they touch, you know it's too loose. So give it a good squeeze front and back and make sure it's good. Also, check your cables. Make sure they're not rusty or worn out in any way. And third, check your brake pads. You wanna make sure there's plenty of pad on the brakes so that they'll stop when they're supposed to stop. That's B for brakes. The last on this part is the C for chain, which also stands for cranks and for chain rings. So you wanna check your chain down here to make sure there's not too much grease on there. There should be some, but not too much. If there's too much, it's gonna suck up the gravel and the dirt from the ground and ruin your gears in the back. If there's not enough on there, it could get rusty and it could break on you. You also wanna check your cranks to make sure they're nice and solid. So give it a good wiggle to make sure that they're in good shape also and lock down tight. And check over your chain rings to make sure they're not too worn and they're ready to go. And your gears back here, or your cogs, you wanna make sure there's nothing stuck inside there, there's no debris in there. That means your whole drivetrain is ready to go. Next is your quick releases. That's the quick part. Some bikes have quick releases up here on the seats, and some of them have them down below on the wheels as well. You wanna make sure that's nice and tight so that your seat won't go up or down. And on your wheels especially, let's turn this around for you, you wanna make sure that these are locked in place. If it's open, it's hanging down like this, but when it's tight, it should be all the way up pointing that way. That means your wheel's not gonna come off when you ride. That's the quick. And for a check, you wanna give this a good check. Ride it around your bike, your block a little bit, or just bounce it and make sure nothing rattles too much. If it doesn't pump up, it doesn't hold air, then you might have to repair it. That's where patch kits like this come in handy. They have glue and patches inside, brake and tire levers like this to help you get the inner tube off. Okay. If you do find that your chain is too rusty or dry, adding a little bit of bike lube is important. Use bike lube, not some household oil or some other cheap lubricant. Make sure it's made specifically for bikes. And you want to add it right down here by the pulley so as you're pedaling the bike backwards. So it's really easy to add a little bit, a few drops on each link like this and pedal backwards until you get it and then wipe off the excess with a rag, and that's how you keep your chain in good shape. Good.